Here's a couple of things that have been happening a lot recently. Balloon parties and walks down memory lane. Not just occasional glances over the shoulder, but full-blown memory lane marathons. It started with my earlier video, which was a quest for old, terrible writing from high school. And it's continued with this music video we're making for Name on a Page, which has necessitated huge piles of old documents that have my name on them. Uh, the giant piles of my name on pages has amounted to two full trash bags and two old shoe boxes. They currently fill my car and litter the floor of my bedroom. And my pack rat tendencies really reveal the truth here, which is that I am a chronic memory lane walker. I think the first thing that I ever did that really illustrated my memory lane strolling tendencies was a project that I did in 8th grade. I had this incredible English teacher and as a result I got to do this incredible project called an exploratory, which was essentially an hour-long research presentation on a topic of our choice. Kids did presentations on athletes or movie stars or writers, anything that they wanted to spend a lot of time researching because it was a very involved project. The packets that we had to fill out in order to complete this project were like the thickest packets that I had ever seen in my life at the time. Um, I remember that they were printed on green paper and I remember that mine had water damage by the time that I turned it in. So anyway, I had this idea that I think started as a joke and later turned into a serious thing, which is actually a reoccurring theme in my life. But I decided that I would do my hour-long huge project on myself. I thought that this was probably the most genius thing that anyone had ever done. Suddenly, this 40 to 50 hours of reading that I had to do, I could read whatever I wanted to. I could read Calvin and Hobbes, which I think I did. I eventually titled my project, Who is Sam Columna? And a big chunk of my project was me taking an old video camera around and interviewing my family and my friends and the girl at school who I had a crush on. Um, I asked them all, who is Sam Columna? I don't really remember the responses that I got, but I remember that when I finished the project, I rambled and sputtered and fell short and didn't really have an answer that I was satisfied with. One of the ten big questions that I asked and attempted to answer for my project was, what is the meaning of life? And I do remember feeling like I had come up with a satisfactory answer for that one. But when my teacher handed back my packet, she wrote next to my what is the meaning of life question something about how I was still young and there was plenty of time to answer that question. And anyway, this is all interrelated, isn't it? When it comes to answering who is Sam Columna, um, I've got two trash bags and two shoe boxes full of answers, things that I've been at some point in my life either by my own choosing or by someone else's labeling. I heart you, Sam. That you can read it, certainly shouldn't be able to. Maybe that's why I hold on to everything. Like, if I forget who I am, uh, I can always follow these breadcrumbs back and figure out who I was and maybe build a thesis from there and do an hour-long presentation on it. But in all honesty, I think something that I've learned recently is that while I am all of these things that I have been, I am also none of these things. I am just this thing, whatever this is right here, my face and my brain. And Earlier today, um, I thought that I found a cassette that might have my 8th grade exploratory on it and I spent the whole afternoon driving all around town trying to get the thing fixed so that it would play. And I spent longer than I'd care to admit looking for the original documentation from my 8th grade exploratory because I just know that I saw it somewhere. I tore apart several rooms in my house and when I finally gave up and came back, from looking for this old documentation, I had a hard time finding my present day notebook because it was buried in a whole bunch of trash. So that's a metaphor.